So hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today again educational video because um, everybody's flying on Watson and I do so, but um, uh, my personal like is to make some educational videos for you in order to let you know about the system of the Boeing 737. Currently we are departing from Prague airport and what will be the topic right now, okay? Thousand ago. Uh, I intentionally put uh, um, 5,000 feet because this is the um, transition altitude in Prague, so it um, it is mainly okay. I will do some things a little bit non-standard, okay, so disregard it, please, uh, for the time being regarding to the procedures, but we are going to talk about this switch. Uh, this switch is a uh, speed switch, okay. Uh, when we are using this switch, maybe you will never use this switch, I don't know. Okay. Uh, for example, if you if you are not in VNAV position, or let's say on on VNAV mode, uh, you may simply press the select the switch and you have R mode. That means that you are <coughs> you are fully controlling your thrust levers. But uh, what is important here right now that uh, you are s you are still fully controlled the fly the thrust, but auto throttle is in R mode as you can see right now. Okay. And uh, as you can see, the speed is rising. Why is it rising? Because I I didn't do something with thrust levers, okay? But if we, for example, close the thrust levers in a real airplane, the speed shouldn't drop below the up. It should be f come from arm to MCP speed mode, okay? And now you are maybe asking yourself that uh, uh, why is it important? And uh, uh, why should I use this uh, this feature? Uh, because 99% uh, of the flight, I am not currently using this feature. Okay. Uh, the question it's uh, it's quite simple uh, for me. Uh, in a flight crew training manual, as you many of you read the flight crew training manual, the Boeing recommended procedure during the landing. Uh, it's, um, we'll see how the Zebo will handle with this situation, but as you can see, uh, it's not then, it's not going to MCP speed, okay? So we have to press the speed mode again, okay? So, uh, this should be modeled right over here, because uh, he shouldn't drop a below the up speed. Uh, anyway, uh, during the approach uh, phase and the landing phase, uh, 100% of people on YouTube are uh, disconnecting the auto throttle. Well, it's okay, uh, because this is the Boeing recommended procedure. What does it mean recommended? A recommended procedure means that Boeing recommends you to, to do so. Okay? Uh, but if you carefully read the flight crew training manual, there is al also written that when you are performing, for example, non-precision approach and you are on vertical speed, uh, you must re uh, recycle the flight director switches. <coughs> uh, you must recycle the flight director switches, okay. So, well, you recycle the flight director switches and again disconnect the auto thrust. But you have some availability to do uh, something uh, for your, uh, let's say, fly safety and um, let's say uh, to little bit uh, let the Boeing fly uh, automatically or manually or let's say uh, let him fly uh, or, or let some uh, tasks uh, into the Boeing 737 airplane okay so as the first we will practice it on the ILS approach uh, what does it mean deselect speed I will stop the video and I will show you later on uh, in, uh, I am ra currently right now on Zebo mode uh, because the Zebo has pro properly uh, modeled this situation. On PMDG, sometimes it uh, mm, it is possible. On some models, it's not possible. Uh, I don't know if it is the setting with the ACARAS. So uh, try to do and leave me a comment uh, if there is any setting uh, to, to set up this feature. Okay, so uh, what we can do right now, uh, we have pre-selected MCP and um, frequencies for the ILS of runway 24. Okay, we'll put out the break 2, for example. 
we have pre-selected this one uh, we can pre-select the speed for flap 30 for example with five knots so 145 will be our target speed and we can make it uh where approach ils to four uh, and basically that's it uh we just uh put it like this okay and set the inbound course of two for one I made a new video, so check it uh, all this inbound course and how we are using inbound course anyway. So we may descend, for example, to 4,000 feet because the 4,000 feet is the uh, cap this is the altitude uh, when we capture um, the glide slope. Okay, we can a little bit uh, slow down and so. Uh, what is deselect speed method? Deselect speed method is a method uh, when you uh, deselect the speed on the short final uh, and it's only valid for uh, the approaches which, has, which is ILS but ILS only CAD1 approach, okay? If you are performing uh, category 2, 3 approach it is not valid, okay? Then this deselect procedure is valid for for all non-precision approaches like NDB approach, uh, VOR approach, um, LNAV approach, uh, currently right now uh, according to EASA OPS uh, should be non-precision approach uh, as well the LNAV VNAV approach uh, but it's so called APV bar approach um, and uh, uh, well if you have the airplane in uh, in vertical speed, uh, the Boeing recommended it to recycle the flight director switches, okay? And uh, we'll go through all these approaches, okay? Uh, currently, right now in Prague, in order to just to see uh, how it works, okay? <coughs> so this is valid for this kind of the approaches. So again, it's valid for ILS approach and non-precision approaches like NDB, VOR, LNAV, VNAV and so on and so on and it's not valid uh, for the approach uh, which is uh, category 2-3 approach because uh, we are using auto throttle to the ground and on the ground uh, after touchdown the auto throttle should disconnect automatically uh, that's why we are not using this procedure uh, in this case of approach. Uh, it is as well not valid for GLS approach and uh, it is not valid for RMP approach but uh, uh, it is not valid for RMP AR authorization required and especially for the approaches which contains radius to fixed point because we need to have the flight director guidance up to the ground. Okay. Uh, as I saw the video from uh, one member of PMDG tech team he describes that uh, you have to recycle the flight director switches when your procedure doesn't end with runway but with miss approach point yes you have to do it uh, because uh, otherwise uh, there should be some discrepancy within the flight director as he was right okay so uh, currently right now uh, as you can see we can start our turning and I will show you uh, how to perform this kind of approach. So the first approach will be ILS approach. And then we perform the go around and make it VOR approach. Okay, in order just to see you with vertical speed. And then we will perform the RMP approach with uh, LNA V now. And I will show you how it looks in LNA V now. It's basically all the same. Okay. Uh, this procedure, uh, I, I will call it uh, this select speed procedure, is valid, uh, or let's say uh, huh, it's uh, for mm, for those of you who are really deep into the system of uh, Boeing 737. Okay, uh, I know that both of you have the disconnect auto throttle switch. Uh, it's reasonable because uh, you are okay, but uh, it has two advantages. And the first advantage of this method is that you have underspeed protection and underspeed protection is valid only on real AC. Uh, it's, it, it doesn't uh, simulate on PMDG, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't simulate on Zebo mode 737. Okay, so, uh, and the next things, 
uh, which is the advantage is you have automatic go around when press toga. You do not need to advance the thrust levers manually and overshoot for example uh, or, or let's say overspeed your N1 uh, during go around procedure. Uh, it leads to unpleasant situation or even to engine failure or flame out. Okay, so this was the uh, the procedures uh, when we may use it. Uh, we discussed the procedures in which we are uh, not allowed to use it and uh, well, and we discussed what are the advantages of this procedure. As you can see the final approach point is uh, approximately right here so we are good to go. You press VOR like now make it a little bit shallow in order not to overshoot the localizer and it will perform go around. I choose the Prague airport for one reason and uh, as you can see if you saw uh, some of my videos, I will prefer f for explanation the Prague Airport. Why? Because the Prague Airport it's a really nice example and uh, it's a uh, little bit not complicated. Uh, if you would like to explain something, um, what's what's going on? Okay, because now we have a simple. Now this approach procedure which is basically straight ahead to 4000 and then radar vectors, okay? So we have captured, localizer captured, we put the missed approach heading 1 for 1 and uh, now we can put the gear down, we can put flaps 15, uh, we can arm the speed brakes like this one, engine start switches to continuous put the speed a little bit down and as you can see uh, we can see the runway that's perfectly okay. Uh, if you look at the limitations more into the deep uh, you will realize that uh, uh, if you are performing ILS approach uh, your last disconnection of autopilot is uh, 50 feet below uh, your decision altitude. Okay, So that means at if we have in Prague decision altitude like this one, uh, 342 meters, that means that approximately at, three, at 300 feet dh, but it's, it's dh, oh sorry, uh, it's this one, 200, okay? So in 1500, it's in one, 150 feet, uh, we have to uh, disconnect the autopilot, that means at approximately 1300, okay? But we will not do so. Uh, we will make a go around uh, in order uh, to see what is the deselect speed method, okay? Uh, I will be uh, flying the airplane because uh, I don't have the hardware as you have, for example, Honeywell combo and all the switches and home cockpit I don't have. I have simple one joystick and most of my flight procedures are performing by the mouse with the left hand flying of the joystick so please uh, disregard uh, a little bit uh, unpleasant flying uh, from my side of view it's uh, it's because I'm getting used from real life uh, to have the full airplane control that means that I have control column I have uh, uh, electric stabilizer trim switches I have rather pedals I can I can make uh, whatever I, uh, I would like to do so uh, so anyway we are established we have misapproach altitude set misapproach heading set we are established on the ILS of runway to 4 uh, that's pretty fine and as you can see we have the vectors that's that's basically okay and uh, we have flaps 30 and approach speed 145 is set okay it's a little bit bumpy conditions um, if I look at the chart according to interpolation uh, we should have tailwind of two knots okay uh, yeah well uh, we should uh, make it uh, with the runway 06 uh, uh, but tailwind of three knots of component uh, in case of Prague airport and long runway it's um, it's quite um, wasting of time to make it uh, via runway 06 So, uh, in case you are performing precision approach like ILS approach, uh, what you can do, you will disconnect the auto throttle, you will deselect the speed. 
okay so what we can do right now I will disconnect the autopilot okay so I have controls I will deselect the speed and now you can see we have speed in our mode so we are fully at uh, we have full control of the thrust levers, okay? And now we have under we should have under speed protection, but again, it's not modeled on PMDG It's not modeled as well on Zebo mode uh, Because this is desktop flight simulators if you are, if you are on full flight simulator uh, You will see the advantage, okay? And that's it, okay? Uh, this is all what you need uh, for the precision approach and now I will perform the go around so make it go around and as you can see automatically it's going uh, the N1 into the commanded position which is uh, and I will put the flaps to five, 15 sorry I will put the gear up and as you can see uh, the thrust is somewhere over here because in Boeing 737 uh, when you press toga button uh, you have uh, only uh, or let's say you have a reduced go around thrust so as you have flaps 15 we can go to flaps 5 if I press toga twice we should have full go around thrust as you can see right now okay so and now we can put flaps 1 we can put flaps up okay we can make it for example 5000 feet like this now procedure we can press the heading select because roll mode should be always uh, when you are uh, at 400 feet uh, but as I was explaining it I forget to put the roll mode but that's no big deal that's okay so we we'll close the thrust levers thousand ago. This one as well, we can make it via vertical speed and a little bit to make it shallower. Okay, so this was an uh, example of the precision approach. And now, what are we going to do? Okay, we perform the go around. Uh, now we are making, for example, non precision approach to runway uh, 30. So I will set. Uh, Okay guys, uh, now I will reposition myself and we are performing the non-precision approach and we will, um, mm, uh, we will perform the deselect speed method while in non-precision approach and in our case it will be runway 3.0 in Prague. Okay, we have offset um, and we have some, some things uh, we would like to point out. First of all, the curses are offset, so 298, 298 and uh, the VOR is pre-selected and we are on AFIS panel as well, so we have DME distances right over here. We have auto brake selected, uh, we have minimums of uh, uh, it's uh, 1610, but uh, if we are making continuous descent technique, we can add the 50 feet, so 1000. And uh, 660 approximately. Okay, so if we are performing it via vertical speed, uh, mm, the procedure looks like that uh, mm, when we are uh, when we are approximately uh, 300 feet uh, above our MDA or DA, we should revert it to go around altitude, and uh, we may perform the the autopilot disengage, recycle the flight director switches, okay, and leave it on, on the VNAV guidance and then deselect the speed, okay. So this is the method. So I will put there again, make it like this one, and once again put it 298, extended center line, boom, we have it, okay, so we are just waiting. Meanwhile, uh, we can descend uh, into 4000 feet We have vertical speed Again, uh, I am climbing to 5000 feet because uh, I have 5000 feet pre-selected in order to avoid the, uh, the off-schedule descent So, so this is the second attempt, okay? Thousand ago
And after this uh, non-precision approach with vertical speed will perform RMP approach with full Elna Vinal procedure and you will see how it looks with Elna Vinal. But again uh, if you are not aware of this procedure slide it into the beginning and uh, you will see that uh, it is valid for ILS category 1 approach for non-precision approaches is valid for VNAV approach is valid as well uh, ELNA VNAV approach I mean and uh, but it's not valid for uh, category 2 and 3 approach uh, it's a really simple answer for a simple question why not and uh, as well for GLS approach and uh, RMP authorization required approach with radius to fix in order we need to have uh, the uh, mm, the flight director switches into on position uh, and near to the ground so uh, if we recycle it uh, the flight director switches will disappear and we have no guidance information that's why I am talking for which approach uh, is this procedure valid and for which approach is this procedure not valid anymore okay Okay, we can start turning our base like slow down with the flips one. The passengers absolutely don't know that we are performing the the technical flight right now. If you feel uncomfortable uh, and you see the trend vector it's uh, showing uh, not in proper way you can adjust your uh, bang angle uh, right here now okay so make it a little bit more or a little bit less whatever you like to do so as we are below uh, nine, 90 uh, degrees of angle uh, we can put the VOR without any problems you can put flaps 5 decelerate that's obviously no problem because we have two and, al two and a half nautical miles prior to the final approach fix. Okay, so we have we are captured, and now the situation becomes a little bit tricky. As you can see right now, that we have offset uh, arrival but we have quidium of the runway uh, for the misapproach procedure so misapproach heading will be 302 okay so this is the correct procedure we may put the gear down we can put flaps 15 right now arm the speed brakes make it like this one And again the copilot should have the VOR on his side, so approach VOR and that's it. So in order to see if we are okay with the pro with the with the lateral navigation. Okay, we are approaching uh, our final approach point. So we can go down into 1700 feet, as I said before. And uh, what is our vertical speed? Our vertical speed formula is quite simple. It's a ground speed uh, multiplied by 10 knots divided by 2 or multiplied by 5 and you've got the vertical speed. Okay, but if you look at the chart right now uh, we have 157, 160 knots. Okay, 160, 850. Okay, so it 
should be our vertical rate because we are a little bit higher on the profile. So we may start the decelerate again. Mm, so make it via flaps 25, flaps 30 and speed 144 uh, like this one and uh, as you can see our ground speed right now is 150 so with an interpolation we should have 800 feet but I leave it in 185 because if we are reading the DME distances uh, you will see that uh, we are a little bit little bit higher on the profile but it's not big deal so far because it's only 100 feet it's basically nothing nothing special so our uh, decision altitude is approximately 1700 so at 2000 feet we will revert it into the missed approach altitude again I put uh, 5000 feet because I would like to avoid a scheduled descent So as you, as you can see we are approaching, uh, we have 145, 145 is approximately 800 feet, so 800 feet will be quite okay for us uh, right now. So we will make it a little, little bit shallower, okay? Okay, so we have approximately 300 feet, so very quickly change it into missed approach altitude, 5000, that's quite okay, and as we are approaching uh, the MDA, or let's say decision altitude in our case, as you can see, so uh, what we can do, we will dis disconnect the autopilot, recycle the flight director switches, okay? and deselect the speed and now we have the same situation as for the ILS okay we'll perform the go around so go around okay go up and make it flaps 15 like now and put the roll mode which is heading select and as you can see the flight directors are showing us to go with the QDM of the runway okay that's pretty fine and as we are in acceleration altitude we can put flaps 5 as we have flaps 5 we can go to flaps 1 and now we have reduced go around thrust as you can see no like you know, on the ILS okay Okay, with flips 1 we can go to flips up, once we have flips up we can uh, couple the autopilot and ah, it's a little bit bumpy. Okay, we have flips up, no light, we can autopilot engaged command. You can make it via vertical speed 1000 feet, it's enough, that's okay. So, uh, so in this time uh, we practice the ILS approach, we practice the non-precision approach with vertical speed and now we are going to RMP approach. And again, uh, be aware of the fact that this procedure is only usable for RMP approach not RMP authorization require even if it contains radius to fixed point like for example Ajaco airport and so on and so on so what we can do uh, we can reselect the in Prague airport and uh, for example we will put RMP runway to 4 okay so we have 240 course 240 Like we are flying on RMP approach, uh, it should be some VOR, not ILS frequency uh, on now setting. Any VOR, it doesn't matter. Okay, we have auto brake on 2, 
that's quite okay. Uh, we are making it uh, with the base leg which is 0, 0.61. We can pre-select Elna Vina minimums which is 1480. So I will switch this off because we don't need to use them. So we've got it, that's perfect. Uh, we can uh, delete the runway 30 from here and we can put uh, another runway um, and it's uh, RMP a runway 24. Okay, so make it via Lex page like this one and 240 is inbound course. That's perfect via well, initial page. We have flap 30, so that means uh, 142 uh, should be our should be our uh, uh, approach speed. Uh, on the fixed page uh, we can make it uh, a runway to 4 as you can see right now it's basically ok runway to 4 make it 10 nautical miles of circle or let's say in order to be precise uh, Papa Romeo it's uh, approximately 9 nautical miles from runway ok so in order to be precise make it 9 nautical miles approximately now we can descend again to 4000 feet and the procedure will be the same exactly, okay? But in this case, if you are on Elna V now, uh, be aware of the fact that first of all the airplane Thousand must ago. be stable uh, on your pre-selected uh, speed. So that means on the speed which is 137 plus 5 knots increments. If I put it plus 10 knots, the autopilot will keep the speed 147. But as we have no zero wind condition, 5 knots increment is OK. Please watch my video how to select the approach speed. And uh, so in this case, 142 will be our target speed. OK. So, we may start to decelerate with 500 feet, the airplane will decelerate without any further problems, uh, keeping the vertical speed and as well the indicated airspeed. And basically that's it. Okay, we've got a gear down. It's my fault, sorry. Uh, that's why I'm like training captain, I'm just ground instructor because... Uh, I forget um, if I'm teaching somebody, so in the air uh, it's hard for me to make it uh, like in this way. But anyway, this was not purpose of the video, uh, some kind of the procedures I obey, so please disregard it. So, uh, remember once again. Uh, if you would like to fly uh, RMP approach, you always have to fly it in Elna V now. Okay, unless, again, unless uh, you have the temperature without the range. Okay, if you have temperature without the range, uh, so you have to use uh, Elna procedure, but you may use the V now procedure. But you have to apply the cold temperature error and again I will highly recommend it uh, to see my procedure, uh, what is the temperature correction and how to set up it. But so far uh, we are good to go for Elna V now approach. And now we are using the approach logic. Approach logic said to us 
uh, that if we are um, 300 feet, feet below uh, 4000 feet we can revert it into the missed approach uh, um, altitude okay so we are decelerating we can make it with a turn and I will put it 90 degrees and within 5 nautical miles uh, if the uh, if the angle is less than 90 degrees it should be uh, it should the airplane should be capable uh, to catch the L now uh, into certain waypoint okay but I am not aware if if it is uh, properly modeled here okay again uh, be aware of the fact that uh, the airplanes are not the same okay it differs from option to option and this these specialties are not even on classics air, air, airplanes which was uh, 10 or 20 years uh, valid uh, but it's as well for the NG okay most of the NG uh, go throughout or gone throughout uh, from the uh, from the from the modifications uh, within the year of 2015 so the newest engines uh, contains performance in-flight package and so on and so on so we are on flaps 5 we are okay we are good to go approximately 5 nautical mass we should catch the L now but as you can see we've got the FMC message okay uh, not on intercept heading uh, which is not true okay we are on the in intercept heading but if it is doesn't work for you like this one so <laughs> we will make it very simple okay now we are okay and now we should put into the VNAV okay and we have LNAV VNAV path and that's what we what we would like to have and pre-select uh, the missed approach altitude uh, sorry um, decision altitude 1500 Okay, so we are on the LNAV profile, so heading to 40 again. Uh, look what is your uh, missed approach heading, 240, and 240 it's right over there, so it's perfectly okay. We have reset the, um, we have reset the MCP altitude. So it's basically okay, we can put the gear down, flaps 15, as we are approaching to the final approach fix. And the airplane should start, okay, flaps 15, should start the decelerating to flaps 15. We are a little bit low of the fuel, as you can see right now, but uh, mm, disregard it, please. It's only for my explanation. So, if you look at this page, uh, as I pressed the deselect button, okay, so deselect speed, reset the flight director speech, switches and press deselect speed, 
uh, you will have the speed 137 plus 5 knots so you may have 142 uh, pre-selected on a speed window okay and again be gentle to your airplane so gear down flip, flip 15 is okay and while you are going to flip 30 uh, make it uh, while you are starting your descent okay so as you can see right now we are approaching and as we are see the vertical speed is descending uh, we can put the flip 30 uh, why uh, because avoid the excessive thrust rating and uh, excessive stabilize the trimming of the airplane So now we can make it uh, flip 30. And uh, the correct procedure uh, within the Zebo should be when I press the deselect button, uh, we should have the speed exactly, no matter which speed is right now indicated. But what speed back? Where is the speed back? Okay, so where is the speed back? It reflects. Uh, here, okay. So as you can see, uh, we are uh, according to approach logic. Uh, we should revert to um, miss the approach altitude, okay? Without uh, altitude, aqua, uh, we now altitude. As you can see, it works absolutely perfectly. So um, my big thank you for Zebo, okay? And uh, okay, so we are waiting for. Uh, uh, for the decision altitude at the decision altitude uh, we'll do the same and perform the go around and as you can see it it, it works okay Okay, assume that we are approaching, um, or let's say we would like to fly the manual, okay? So, autopilot disengage once again, recycle flight director switches, deselect speed, and as you can see we have speed 142. It's absolutely perfect and all the best f uh, to the Lubosch, uh, to Zibo mode and uh, what is he doing with his airplane however there are some kind of problems but uh, he's a volunteer and he's doing things uh, with the prof proper way so now we can make it uh, go around again so go around flaps 15 okay positive rate gear up we've got it okay and once we have 400 uh, we put the heading select like this now that's absolutely perfect as we reach uh, the go around altitude which is 2000 feet because the go around altitude depends on uh, what is your acceleration altitude it depends from the company we've got 800 feet so Prague airport uh, it's uh, approximately uh, 1200 so our go around altitude to clean up the airplane will be 2000 feet so flaps 5 flaps 1 
Okay, flips up. That's it. And as you can see, we have reduced go around trust. Press twice to go. We have N1, we have full go around trust. It's a problem. No, it's Bells not a big go. deal. Okay, autopilot engaged, vertical speed, and but we have altitude required, so that's okay. So, uh, uh, this was the basic explanation uh, when we are using the deselect speed. Okay, uh, if you found this button unusable in your Boeing 737. Please watch this video and if you like this video and you found this uh, procedure useful for you uh, b because you have automatic go around and you have under speed protection with this procedure uh, I don't ask for like uh, of the video but leave me a comment uh, if it doesn't work in in your PC or or let's say if it doesn't work on PMDG or if it doesn't work on your Zebo mode, uh, just write me comment and we will find the solution why it is. Okay? So as you can see, uh, all the Prague Airport is uh, quite right now, a uh, little bit bumpy and unpleasant for the passengers. Uh, so, mm, uh, well, uh, I'm really happy uh, that you watch this video and see you next time soon and please uh, do not focus only on one platform, Microsoft Flight Simulator, or do not focus on explain only. Try to find the best, uh, what is the best and closest to the real life, okay? So, I wish you have a nice day and have a safe flight, dear captains. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time soon. Bye-bye. Uh,